So we're going to go about getting these really nice golden but deep tones that he so often uses in this image here. So getting straight into it, we are going to slightly brighten up the image, contrast, highlights down, shadows up. And whites down. And blacks down, as always. So clarity I'm going to bring down just a tad because it has quite a soft image. And saturation down. So tone curve, reasonably normal tone curve. Going to bring up the black point and bring it out a little bit. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Maybe bring down the white point a tad. And on to color. So we are going to shift the orange more towards the red. Yellow is more towards an orange. And on the saturation, bring up the oranges. Little bit of yellow. Bring down the greens, as always, blues down, okay so on to luminance, I'm going to slightly bring up the reds. And drop the oranges and it creates that deeper golden tone. Bring up the yellows as always and I'm gonna bring up the greens and quite a bit of the blues. So on to split toning he has a nice golden tone to his images. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange or gold into the shadows. And it gives a nice cast to the whole image. I'm going to bring sharpening down and then keep coming down and I'm going to do a vignette. So he very often does a pretty harsh vignette. So this image maybe doesn't need a harsh vignette, but I'm going to put it on it anyway because we're going to make it into a LUT and I want to have it as if it's going to work on all images. And don't need grain, don't need dehaze. And that's about it for the colors. So there's a few things. I can do to make this image more like his so I would I won't worry about it too much because I'm just worried about the colors and the contrast so I can make a lot out of it but if I was trying to match this image I would come up here to the sky make it a bit cooler but now we're a bit too purple so put some green tint in it taking it away from purple and now we get a nice blue sky like his. And I will do things such as take away the brightness of the shed as it's quite distracting. Bring down the exposure and the whites. And then I would brush, I would also brush the, the geese to make them pop like he has there. They pop very well from that image. But 
I'm gonna save this as a lot. So now I'm going to see how this goes on some other images. So we've got this one here, and I'm going to try on this image here. Let's find our LUT, apply it, and then I just need to expose it right. So exposure coming up a bit. That's all I'm going to change. Before, after, before, after. So as you can see, we've just got these really nice yellows and oranges coming off the edges of the trees, like we do on this one. We still get his nice vibrant greens, but we also get those oranges and quite a few of those yellows. And then you get that nice red down the bottom here, which is almost a purple as you see down here and in the trunks of those trees so one click change the exposure and we get a very similar image but yeah there we go so let's see how it goes on other images so we have an image here of a fox and let's try our lot on this image so we're just really looking to see how these tones work. And then I'm going to bring up the shadows to 100. And as you can see, he's got these really nice golden tones that are going through the greens and are really popping the things that are already orange. So this fox is really standing out. Most of the an He's always shooting animals and most of the animals have a orange coat to them. So deer, fox. Or the, the squirrels he so often shoots so they really pop from the image and look really good and it's kind of what we've got going on down here how we have our oranges looking really nice so before and after and just a nice golden tone to everything all those greens just have a slight slight gold to them and it looks really good before after so if we look at another image here's another example of them doing it a lot of really nice vibrant oranges and if we find our image here we are just some bland greens apply our LUT expose it expose it to about there and as you can see, we've really brought out those rocks. They look way more orange and vibrant. And those greens still look pretty vibrant. And everything has a very slight golden cast. So before, after, before, after. Really looks good. And it works as well. He uses it on the sunset shots. Pretty much every shot he does. So if we grab this image and we apply a lot just expose it and we're looking a bit too red so what I do would be come down here to the orange hue and just shift it a back more back a bit towards yellow and you get those nice oranges and for a, a sunset that he uses quite often is something like this so if we get our image apply our lot and then if you just come up here and increase the warmth you get really close just like that but if you want to get even closer I would take down the highlights I would bring up the whites I would drop the vibrance. 
I would come down to colors. I would shift this orange more towards in yellow. A little more towards orange. Saturation down. Yellow down. And bringing those oranges way down. Give a deeper orange. And taking down those yellows a little bit. And I think we've gone way closer than we did when we just brought up the warmth, even though that looked really good anyways. But here's the before and here's the after. And I just want to quickly show you guys what we've done. So, so we started off with this one where we really got the orange tones that he uses a lot. And here's pretty dark blacks. I wasn't able to get it in this image. I was going to leave, lose all the detail in those trees and it wasn't going to look quite right. But we compensated a bit by having a really dark vignette and that's what he uses a lot anyways so that was the before and after for after I think it looks really really good and then we quickly did this one just applied our LUT didn't make any changes and we got that with those nice reds down there some oranges those yellows and oranges just popping through those trees looking really really good and yeah I'm gonna leave it there guys so for after make sure you go follow him on Instagram and comment down below what you guys want to see who you want to see what you want me to do videos on and leave a like and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video